multi-million rand marketing industry exists to persuade us that we need to buy more of the things we don't necessarily need and to pay more for them. Resist the hype and shop smart. We have some amazing tips to help you become more savvy in the supermarket. Starting with, don't get to the supermarket starving. Have a snack before you shop so that you're not tempted to spend more and consume more kilojoules when you're waiting by all those unhealthy goodies paying for your things. Make sure that you go with a shopping list that's been prepared beforehand. Organize it so that your top left ingredients are your dry ingredients, your bottom left are your fresh foods, top right are your meats and dairy products, and bottom right are your baking products, etc. Just make sure that that shopping list is organized so that you can go to that area, buy those ingredients, and not waste time with an empty shopping trolley up and down the aisles buying things you don't need. You will waste money, and of course, you'll be adding additional calories to that shopping cart. And then when you're looking at items, it's so important to be able to become savvy with reading food labels. For instance, a lot of us might reach for an energy bar or a health bar, thinking that it's a better choice than a chocolate, when in actual fact, if you read the nutrient label information, you would realize that this chocolate, this energy bar, and this health bar are very similar. Scary is that? Every food label should boast an ingredients list. The food that's of the highest quantity is always listed first. So if it's, for instance, sugar or peanuts, you know that that food is going to be high in sugar or high in fat. Try to make sure that the ingredients list does not contain more than five ingredients. Try and keep it as simple as possible. A good example would be rice cakes versus another whole wheat biscuit. This example of rice cakes contains only two ingredients, brown rice and sesame seeds. That is it. But the example on my left hand side has more than 10 ingredients, lots of emulsifiers, lots of flavorants and preservatives. Definitely not a great choice. Another example, Lisa, were these fruit chews that out of the whole list of ingredients, there ain't no fruit <laughs> in these fruit chews. <laughs> I've picked an example of dried fruit. You know, normally you classify it a healthy snack. The example on my right contains only one ingredient, 100% banana. It's been freeze dried with no preservatives. Good option. The one on my left has got five ingredients for dried fruit. It's been preserved in sugar, additional sugar, juice concentrate, and sunflower oil. Five ingredients for something as simple as a dried fruit. And if you're watching for food intolerances and allergies, the food ingredient list can really help you. For instance, you may not think that there would be wheat or gluten in hot chocolate, but by reading this label, you'd be able to pick that up. Besides the list of ingredients, there should always be a nutritional table on the label as well. So that'll give you important nutrients and calorie contents of that food. Trans fats are one of the things you need to watch out for. The new laws stipulate that no more than two grams of trans fats per 100 grams can be present in any product. Trans fats are there to make food taste better, last longer and travel better. Another two things to look out for on the label would be energy and sodium. Keep your energy to 500 kilojoules if it's a snack, 2000 kilojoules if it's a meal, and then sodium is important. You don't want more than 2000 milligrams of sodium a day. Fast foods, for instance, in one meal, you can get more than 2000 milligrams of sodium, so you'll clock up your daily quota in one go. So healthy living starts with healthy buying. That we can guarantee you.